This is Old Mate's Backyard Tech. All right. Busy morning so far here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech for AV Fridays, and it's not over yet. Still two more videos to come out, and I'm saving the best for last, which means it's not this video. All right. Now, yesterday, as we saw, I managed to score some more free home AV stuff, and specifically two AVC tower speakers. Now, AVC have a bit of a 50-50 write-up, to be honest with you. Yesterday afternoon, though, I couldn't wait, and so I decided to, decided to connect them up to my big Onkyo home theater amp. And Houston, we had a problem. You're watching Old Mate's Backyard Tech. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. As I said at the top of the video, a busy morning so far here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech for AV Fridays and we're continuing our home AV theme for this one. And we're going to look at those two AVC tower speakers and as I said, Houston, we had a problem. Yesterday afternoon I couldn't wait so I cleaned them up and connected them up to my Onkyo home theater amp, just one channel. And, uh, well, we're gonna have to find out what's wrong. Essentially, the low and the mid are working, but those two dome tweeters are not. Now, before you start saying, oh, well, it's the tweeters that are gone, just replace them. No. Never, ever, ever think that just because a speaker doesn't work, instantaneously you replace the speaker, because it's not always the case especially if you are running a crossover of some sort, be it just a capacitive crossover, so it filters out the high frequencies, or a fully inductive multi-channel crossover, or, or multi, sorry, multi-frequency crossover. So three, four, five, six-way crossover, all right? Never, ever assume that just because a speaker's not working, it's essentially the speaker, because it could very well be the crossover, it could be the inductor, it could be the high frequency capacitor that's failed. So when you when you get a set of speakers or you lose a speaker in a home AV, a home speaker environment, don't automatically assume it's the speaker because it, that is not always the case. Okay? So having said that, grab the video camera, we'll grab the multimeter, we're going to isolate those two speakers and we're going to do a resistance check across them. Now they should come up 6 ohm. I say because the speakers are rated at 6 ohm. So we should have 6 ohm across the speaker. If we don't, it means both tweeters are dead and I should have some tweeters lying around that we can put in. I think. I'm going to have to find out. But anyway, let's grab the video camera and uh, let's find out what's going on with those two AVC tower speakers and what's happened to those tweeters. Now, if the tweeters are fine, then it's the crossover that's had it. Okay? Now, if the crossover's gone, <clears throat> excuse me, if the crossover's gone, I should have another set of crossovers lying around the house somewhere. I say somewhere. I might have to try and find them. But anyway, let's uh, let's pull those speakers apart and find out what happened. All right. So what we're going to do first? Let me get around the camera here, guys. And make sure you guys can actually see what I am doing. I'm just trying to flip the screen around and get them in the right spot. There we go. All right. So. Basically what we have, if I take both of these off, okay, now let me just, all right, so these are your base speakers, okay, these are your low, mid, mid, high, and then right up the top, two dome tweeters. Now, neither of these tweeters are working, all right, no, neither of them are working. So what we've got to do is pull them both apart and just find out whether it's the tweeter that's had it 
or whether it's the actual um, crossover. Now if it's the crossover, as I said, I believe I should have a spare crossover. I don't really remember. I think I've got one, another crossover network which is three-way, which these are technically three-way even though the two main speakers are the same diameter. So, what I found interesting though guys, and this is why I say you've got to look beyond just the speaker, was the fact that uh, this speaker here, the mid, was not bringing out any of the upper level frequencies, all right? So, we'll cut these off, so you guys can see what I'm doing. And I want to cut them off as close to the terminal as I can get them, without magnetising my, what's his name? So, we'll get the multimeter out. And as I said, we're looking for six ohms only. All right, so I'm looking for just ohms. Okay. So, what I can do here, I can show you this by getting my multimeter to hold. I'll put the backlight on and you guys will be able to see it. Um, so if I bring the multimeter all the way down to there and zoom you in a bit. There we go. So we're looking for six ohms across this speaker. Polarisation is not a problem. And the reason I'm isolating the speaker is so I can register the speaker. And we have nothing. Straight off the bat, you can see there we've got no continuity. All right. You can see there it's fluctuating a lot. Let's just see if we've got any. No. So that indicates this speaker is cooked. As you can see, there should be six ohms there, and there's not. So that speaker's had it, all right? So now what we do, so we now know that part of the issue is the speaker more than it is the actual rest of the system. So we zoom out, and we will now take out the other tweeter, all right, and do the same test. Now, the reason I'm testing both, because I did get a little bit out of this one, but I'd, I'd say it's in the same fate. Now these are um, 100 mil wide speakers, so pretty much two inch, give or take. Depending on your conversion status. Now I'm not sure if I have any two inch speakers, at least not like this type. I might, I very well may. Not guaranteeing it, but I might. So, get this speaker out as well. Chop its cable off as best I can. So, back down to the multimeter, which is over there, zoom in, Oop. it's as low as I can go. Okay, so we need to do the same test on this one. And you can see there, there's absolutely nothing nothing at all 
So, both of these have had it. Which is a shame, but also looking at this, that's interesting. Oh no, it is the same. That's alright. So, you can see how these are basically full size speaker magnets, a little dome, alright? So, um, you probably find the voice calls only about that in diameter, if that. So, this obviously leaves us with a little bit of a, an issue with these. As far as the actual speakers are concerned, um, the base out of these two is really nice. The base porting in this is excellent. And these two are your, your, mid, your mids. So, long story short, I need to find which I hope I have lying around, two domed tweeters rated at around 6 to 8 ohm and a power handling of around 80 watts nominal music not necessarily rated at the same as these because I don't know about anyone else but I certainly don't try and get a speaker up to its maximum power handling because that can be just sheer catastrophe so there we go. So we know we need new tweeters. And uh, I'm going to have to see. I may end up actually, you know what I might end up doing? Is I may have a couple of small four inch um, multi-purpose speakers that I can put into here. A um, couple of small ones. And uh, that may or they may also work reasonably well for us too. And then I can just put the covers back on really so that's uh that's what we're gonna have to look at doing um so i don't know if i've got the speakers i'll have to go and find the speakers but i would say guys that's all we need um i know the crossovers are working because the this one these two here are doing what they should but what you're missing is a mix of these and the upper end okay so I'm getting a mix of the bottom and the mid, but I'm losing a mix of the mid and the upper. Okay, so there we go. All right, so we now know the plan of attack for these. Cosmetically though, as um, Gaz Young Online uh, pointed out in a comment yesterday, cosmetically they're not in that bad a condition. Other than a few scuff marks, but they're not in that bad a condition. So there we go, anyway. So we now know what needs to be repaired. Um, I guess I'll have to see what I've got out in stock somewhere. Anyway, there we go. That's it. Stick around. We've got the final video of the day coming up for you soon. Have a good one.